Hey there, internets. You want to learn how to write a book. You want to learn how to write a book and make money and get that fame and all that comes with. Continue to watch this video from the beginning to the end. I'm going to tell you exactly how I, yes, the kid, did it. Hey, this is Glennon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. If you want to learn how to start a business, if you want to learn how to hustle on an elegant level, and if you want to learn how to build generational wealth, you're in the right place. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button thingy, whatever, that bell. In 2009, I wrote a book, Making Money A to Z with self storage and Auction, and I made $1.5 million from the sale of the book and a lot more money from the sale of courses that came from the book. How do you do this? This is the secret. Number one, you have to write a book that you care deeply about. Not exactly the answer that you were expecting to hear, I know. Let's go back in the time machine to 2009. I was coming out of the storage auction business due to health concerns. My partner was diagnosed with cancer. I had chronic fatigue syndrome. It was just, it wasn't working. We were both out. We had to liquidate the inventory. Let's stick on to that. I didn't come out of the storage auction business because I couldn't make it. I came out of the storage auction business due to the health concerns. So I was still full of the vigor, the energy and the enthusiasm for the business. And my first book was not going to be about storage auction. They were going to be about relationships. I had interviewed 200 women face to face, just walked up to groups of women like, hey, my name is Glenn Cameron. I'm writing a book about relationships. What is your take on this subject matter? I was halfway through it. And I realized I didn't want to be the relationship book guy because one, it was very limited. You had to go on the radio shows, you had to go on television, you had to talk about relationships and you had to pick a side. It was either you're going to go the simp method, which is everything that is wrong with relationship, it's the man's fault. Or you were going to go with the truth that women are complicated. And I knew that telling the truth that I could make some money, I never was going to go mainstream. So I abandoned the project. And then I'm like, oh hell, what am I going to do? I'm going to write a book about storage auctions. This wasn't supposed to be the main book. This was supposed to be the quote warm up book for the great American novel. So I start writing the storage auction book. Now, once again, let's go back to something you're deeply passionate about. I didn't have to do any research. Why? I knew the business inside. I knew it outside. I knew it from the top to the bottom. I knew the business. So there was no research. It was just me writing, which was a chore because I had never written a book before. So I write the book, but since I was a storage auction dude, since I was a business person, I started marketing the book before I wrote the first page. I'm writing it and I'm shaping it up and I get it done. And I take this book to my editor, so-called friend, right? And she's like, I thought you could write. Essentially, you can't write. You need to give this to me. Let me shape it up. I'll get back to you in four to six weeks. And oh yeah, pay me $1,500. I knew that if I had waited, this book wouldn't have happened. So I came home. Well, first I picked up my face and I said, look, uh, thanks, but uh, I'll go it alone. I came home and I uploaded that crappy book to the internets and I sold it. I got all kinds of stuff. He can't write. There's typos. There's this stuff. A lot of hate. A lot of jokes. But every week I sold that book. There were people saying, yeah, it's got typos, but the information is gold. So I kept going. I kept going and going and going. And then I really released the book. I said, look, you know, there was a bunch of typos. Here's the black edition. Got really most of the typos. Then I got another editor. He got it all clean. It was good. There was no typos. It was great. And people kept buying the book. They kept buying the book. It was amazing. Long story short, about 11 months later, I've made 62 grand off of this self-published book with errors, with typos. I was like, I can do this. I'm not saying go out and put out a book full of typos, but I am saying, if you don't have a lot of resources, put your book out. Put it out, advise it on the fly. Because once you put that book out, you have momentum. If you, and you just keep doing that and writing and re-editing and polishing and shaping and all this other stuff, you're never going to put that book out. You're just gonna be a memory or it's gonna be something that's just gonna get you like right up in there because you're never gonna put it out. That was my experience and that was how it worked. So let's deconstruct that. Why did it work? Did it work because the book was well written? Mm -mm. It worked because I knew how to market. It worked because this is what I used to do every day. I used to write 10 to 30 Craigslist ads every day. 
and I would put them on Craigslist and I would write. And then I would learn hooks and I would learn tags and I would learn titles and I would learn all this stuff. Came into the marketing aspect and once the book was straightened out, it really shined in the book. I knew how to write. I knew how to market. I knew how to put stuff out there. Now I know I have you know people on my team that if the next book I write, it will be edited so I don't have to worry about the typos and this other stuff. So now that we deconstructed what, why it worked, this is how you can do it. Once again, going back to this major, major rule, you must write a book about something that you are passionate about. There are many Kindle course type creative books out here. Now, a few years ago, the create a Kindle book thing was really big. Now ask yourself, how many of those guys who were pushing the Kindle courses, the Kindle books, how many of them are still doing that? Kindle changed the rules. Kindle changed everything. None of those guys are still pushing the Kindle course. None. But books still make money. A book that you're deeply passionate about, you put it out there, you can make money. Here are the details or the steps. Step one, write the book. Hard as that is going to be, it is nothing compared to the marketing of the book. Let's go ahead and say percentages. 25% uh, of your book's success is writing the book, writing a good book, writing a book that people want to read, and 75% or in some cases 90% of the success of that book is from the marketing. Yes, you have to market the book. You have to push it. and You have to push it after you're tired of it, after you've had all these interviews where you don't want to talk about the book anymore, you still have to push it because if you push it for a good two to three years, it can make a lot of money. The new things that are going on the internet, there are so many ways that you can actually put your book out, put a good cover together because here's the first thing you need to do. I didn't do it this way because I built my audience. When knew about storage auctions, so I had an advantage. Now what you have to do while you're writing your book, and you're probably not going to write it as fast as I did, is you need to build your audience, which is going to take three to three months to a year. Let me say that again. Three months to a year to build your audience. How can you do this and write the book yet put out content? First of all, you need to do a rough draft of the book to hit all the high points and stuff. Then you need to find edit content to talk about, like storage auctions. If I put out in the videos, this is how you buy storage auctions, nobody would have bought the book. So what was the related content? But you got out the unit, stories about people that you met from the storage auction trail, stories about the customers, stories about delivering furniture. So that is what I built this channel on while saying, look, this is into the storage auction business, you can have these experiences, right? And that is what I did. And for about two years, I had like, through 300 videos that were all about stories about storage auction, uh, stories about people. Uh, there was like, there's a, there's a Craigslist playlist. That is how you do it. It's very simple because some people are going to tell you, you need to buy Facebook ads. If you write a book that you're not passionate about and you use Facebook ads, you could make some money. You could, but you can't make 1.5 million. You cannot do the you know, collectively, this channel has made well over $6 million since 2009. Collectively, all over, not in one year. Don't calm, calm down. If you're passionate, if you're determined, if you really know this subject matter in and out, then you can win. Now, let's talk about the people who don't have a passion, who don't have anything they, they know anything about. They're just like, I don't know anything. Sit back and let's have this discussion. Okay, Jerome, you need to pick something. You need to make some life decisions. You need to pick something and devote yourself to it for a period of two to five years. Two to five years. Two to five years. Where you can get enough knowledge that you can be deep in that subject. And with online resources, you can learn this stuff possibly faster. But you have got to get a strong base. Why? Because when you put this stuff out there, you're going to get haters. If you don't know your curriculum, you don't know your subject matter, the haters are going to eat you alive. You're a fraud and you're a scam artist. You're going to have like this thin knowledge base and you're not going to have enough information to combat them. Because let's be real, the haters are going to come and they're going to come hard. If you are not on top of your game, they're going to knock you off the ball. You're just gonna be another sad, sad story on the end. In two to five years, yes, two to five years, 
devoted to knowing your craft, developing your craft. Now, let's talk about the internet sensations. There's this kid, he's 16, he's 18, he's 20, he's 21, a million, two million, three millions from this mother's basement. And you're like, well, if this kid could do it, I, I should be able to do it, right? Wrong. And this is why. You got bills, right? Car payment, mortgage, credit cards. You're an adult, right? Well, this kid didn't have none of that. Oh yeah, he didn't have any rent. More than likely, parents bought a car for him and probably paid the car insurance. So he had nothing but space, opportunity, and time to figure some stuff out without the pressures of earning income to support himself. If you're a kid and you're in that position, you need to work it like you cannot work it you, you just need to work that. You're never gonna have that kind of opportunity again. And if you're an adult, on your big boy pants, put on your big girl panties, and just like, look, I can do this, but I can't do it as fast because I cannot devote all my time to it. When you come at me with these stories, I'm like, yeah, they happen. Yes, there's this kid that made five million. Yes, there's this kid that made 20 million. Yep, but guess what? That kid ain't you because you're not in the same situation as that kid, plain and simple. All right, so that's it. That's how you write a book. If you want more information or you, if I'm not clear about some, be sure to put it in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit that notification button and I will catch you guys later.